Welcome to another episode of Geared Up, where we take a look at the newest, coolest toys in the construction industry. We're gonna look at something called the Strut Slayer. It's a compact, easier tool to cut strut with, and we pulled this one out because we did a recent video around cutting strut, and we found an even better solution. At least that's what we think. We won't know until we bring the vendor in and he gives us that hands-on demo, so I think we should just go check it out. We're on a mission to find tools and equipment that have game-changing potential for making the work safer and better for all the people on our projects. This is Geared Up. So I'm here with Aaron, and you rep? Rigid and Greenlee. Okay, and can you tell me what the heck you're doing here? Why did I drag you in? Yeah, absolutely. So today we have the Strut Slayer. Uh, it's an attachment for any standard size pro press tool. So the guys already got this on their truck. It attaches right to the tool and uh, no further equipment is needed. If not, we do sell the, the pro press tools as well. This unit will cut inch and five eighths or 13 16 strut, virtually burr free. So it's faster, safer, and easier to use than uh, any other option. Can you walk me a little bit through some of the fit and safety features? Yes, so on the back here, we see a red light. That means that this tool is inoperable. It has a bolt sensor so that this cannot be used unless it's in safely, uh, safely seated into the jaw. So you press that into place, it lights up green, it's ready to use. Right on. Lights up the workspace, and we just put a piece of strut in, pull the trigger, and four to five seconds we have a clean cut. Gotcha. No sparks? No sparks. Uh, pretty minimal noise. Minimal noise, no Nip. shavings. You got no burrs, I mean, or Burr. limited. I mean, I would minimal assume, burrs. Yeah, you're still gonna get a little bit because you're pinching it. Now, uh, tethering? Yes, we can tether it to uh, a bucket or to a, a guy so that it doesn't fall and uh, hit somebody below. Gotcha. I get that. I get that there's no sparks. I get that there's limited burrs. I get that the noise, anybody that's been near a chop saw cutting studs or any sort of steel, that gets pretty old pretty fast. And you got a little tether feature, it looks like. Correct. Yeah. Awesome. How easy is it to use? Uh, it's so easy, I think a marketing guy could do it. You think even the guy behind the camera, That's right. who's shaking his head right now, Aaron Cornelius, <laughs> who helps put together these videos, creative genius behind all of this, person to blame if I screw any of it up, is going to come and try to cut this because I have cut plenty of strut in the last couple years, fortunately or unfortunately. Um, so Aaron, are you up for it? Let's do it. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, marketing guy here. Never cut a piece of strut in my life. Show me how this works. Yeah, so we're going to start with pressing the power button. Okay. And so, a little green light turned on. I see a little Bluetooth uh, logo there. What, what is there Bluetooth on this? There is. So you can connect this tool to a phone or a tablet. Uh, and what we can do with that is see local service centers and see how many presses have been made on this tool. We can pull up the manual for the tool. And we can also see the last location that the tool was used in. Cool. Uh, so some handy features as far as Bluetooth goes. All right, so now it's on, then what? I got my piece of strut right here. I'm gonna assume that this uh, shape here fits into that little die piece there. Yeah, absolutely. So we're just going okay. to slide that into the jaw. All right. And uh, then if you look closely at the top, you'll see a slot. That slot right. is to run your tape measure into. Okay. And uh, so we put your tape measure in there. Yep, measure out the length you want it and just I'm gonna, slide the piece in. I'm gonna say seven. Seven inches, that feels like a good spot to be, so Perfect. any safety or anything that I have to press down? Nope, all you need to do is press down on that trigger, hold it for about four or five seconds, and uh, I'll get out of the safe zone here for you to make a cut. All right, so we measured. Wow. Okay, so now we have our piece. That's it. That's pretty simple, and yeah, you can see there's like, Hardly any burrs, if any, and it's really square, really clean cut. That's an awesome tool. Thanks for showing that to me, here. Absolutely, thank you. Me. Nice name, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> hey, thanks again for joining today. Uh, I would say that the Strut Slayer is definitely a fully baked tool that we should be seeing on job sites all across the country that has to cut a lot of Unistrut. Safer, more efficient, and it's a fairly compact, inexpensive tool to solve that problem. So check it out. And while you're checking that out, you should check out some of our other videos that we have on this channel. I think you could probably just scroll down at the bottom of the page. 
And while you're down there, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if you left a like, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if you subscribed to this channel, and of course there's a whole comment section, so if you have other tools and equipment that you think we should check out, leave a comment. We read every single one, we'd love to join you at your project or somewhere nearby and, and give it a look. Thanks for joining.